Good evening, people watching Miss 65, Lisa Voice. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ built his blood for our past, present, and future sins. That horn scared me. And you should know why. He was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. That's how we're saved. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone. Grace is something we didn't earn and we don't deserve. By faith, by believing in Christ alone. Not of ourselves, not of works. At least any man should boast. Still, a few people don't get the, the part of believing. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what else to say. It's believing, okay? It's not obeying the Ten Commandments because no one can. It's not um, living a totally sin-free life because if anybody, and the Bible says that, says that they are sin-free, they are without it, they're lying. What we have to do is believe in what Christ did at the cross for our past, present, and future sins. That's what the Bible says. We're clean in his sight. That's why he spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins. For those who believe. I'm going to give you another shock. It says in John, I think it's 17, he didn't pray for the world. He prayed for those who belong to him. The world has its own problems. But those of us who are justified by the blood of Jesus, we're clean in his eye. It is grace that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever, here's the word, believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. You come to the end of yourself and admit you're a sinner in need of a savior. It's only one and that's Jesus Christ. You put your faith and trust in him. You accept him as Savior. At that point, you're justified by the blood of Jesus. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will seal you until the day of redemption. You will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you. The Holy Spirit is your best friend, and the Holy Spirit will change you. That's the gospel, period. That's how we're saved. That's how we're kept saved. It's not hard. It's very simple. Believe. People who constantly, and you're going to lose a lot of friends and family members because you believe in the simple gospel. They'll talk about you. They'll call you. Oh, yeah, you believe in it's easy believism. No, it's not. They're going to talk about you because of that. That's fine. That's fine. That's the way it goes. Once saved, always saved is the gospel. There is no other gospel. The only other gospel, which is not a gospel at all, is the gospel of self. And that's a surefire ticket to hell. It's only one gospel. Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins. Therefore, we are saved. Period. I got to give you this uh, article. This is off of Fox. China. China. I called this. I told you this was going to happen. China flies dozens of warplanes near Taiwan. There you go. Um, the launch came the same day the U.S. Navy sailed two aircraft carriers and two amphibious assault ships alongside uh, allies in the Philippine Sea. So China launched 39 aircraft, mostly fighter jets, near Taiwan Sunday, the largest show of force in months. The launch came the same day the U.S. Navy sailed two aircraft carriers along with a pair of amphibious assault ships alongside allies in the uh, Philippine Sea. It's not clear what might have prompted the escalation. I know what. Russia. I said this was going to happen. But China did something similar in early October during a uh, 
similar U.S. Navy operations. Taiwan issued radio warnings and sent combat air patrol to deter the Chinese aircraft, while air defense missile systems were deployed to monitor them, Taiwan's Ministry of National Defense said in a statement issued late today. China claims Taiwan is part of its own territory and has rejected its claims of independence after two countries split in 1949. The U.S. does not formally recognize Taiwan but maintains unofficial relationship and is supportive of its democratic government. Beijing has been increasing its presence near Taiwan and has been sending dozens of warplanes towards its defense zone, coinciding with calls by President Xi for Taiwan to be brought into China as part of a hmm, peaceful reunification. The U.S. military activities in the Philippine Sea in a, coincide with this delivery of its first shipments of promise, listen to this, lethal aid, lethal aid to Ukraine on Friday included around included around 200,000 pounds of ammunition and weapons for frontline defenders. The U.S. Embassy in, Ky in uh, Kiev hailed the shipment delivered by airplane as part of a $2.7 billion, billion dollars of investments made in Ukraine. Hmm. I wonder why. Oh, I know. It rhymes with Hunter. Last name Biden. I'm going to link this in the description box. I told you China was waiting for Russia. And sure enough, here it is right here. I'm going to, um, if anything else comes up, I will let you know. This is why this gospel is important. Because you will see what's going on. The Holy Spirit will reveal it to you, and that's what's happening right now. Everything, everything's not falling apart. Everything is in place right now. I'll be back with the next video. I wanted to just uh, put this out there. I'll be back with the next video, and I will link this in the description box. Thank you.